Well, the one of the great mysteries, um, it's, it's a mystery, it's, it's a property of nature. Um, that, well, it's a fundamental property of subatomic particles, is that at the, at the basic level, they are the same, identical, strictly. And that matters, actually, because it, it affects the way the statistics of the particles um, operates, which affects the way they behave. So, so they, they're absolutely, fundamentally identical. And um, way back in the 19... It was in the 1940s, actually, uh, Richard Feynman, talking to his supervisor, Hans Beta, um, suggested that the reason for this, uh, particularly in the case of electrons, same for the other particles as well, uh, was that there's only one. And he said, well, is it, is it possible that there's this one electron wandering backwards and forwards in time? So if you imagine that our, our reality now is it's kind of a sheet, then you, you could imagine this thing zigging backwards and forwards, like that. And so, so you see all of these instances of the same electron crossing our <laughs> reality, as it were, uh, uh, just time and again, time and again, time and again, so they're all the same particle. Um, it's sort of a, it doesn't help you in any way, that. And so it's, it's sort of faded away, I think, as, as, a, as an idea. It's, it's, it's a lovely idea. Um, yeah. The, but the, the, the fundamental point is that the, every electron is identical. And what that means 